legislative session this year saw the introduction of 2,817 bills and the eventual passage of 834. Jim, what did the Maryland legislature do for us, or perhaps to us, this year? Well, you know, uh, we, I, I, I'm a Republican. We have a Republican governor, and though some of his legislation from this year and even last year got vetoed, uh, I think we did pretty well. Um, you know, there were some things that came up that were problematic. Um, this whole process of, of the way highway funds are going to be distributed, I think, is going to be highly problem problematic yeah. for Western Maryland. Um, I don't have a lot to say about the adding of 13 judges around the state. I think the, um, the law that was uh, passed to uh, stiffen the penalties on child abusers yeah, that, that was uh, Justice's Law. Justice's mm -hmm. Law yes. is a good thing. Yes. Um, and the judicial retirement thing that didn't pass, uh, raising the age for judges to retire from 70 to 73, you know, I'm, I'm kind of ambivalent about right. that as well. But I, I think overall it was a good session. And I think, frankly, I think that our Western Maryland lawmakers um, stepped up on some things, and I was happy to see that. Yeah. So. Absolutely. So we have the highway robbery bill that essentially took yeah. place. Um, I like that, that name. Western Maryland, Eastern Shores being, being completely ignored as per Annapolis mandate. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the Justice Reinvestment Act where we're addressing sentencing, probation, and um, other issues to correct the way the justice system has worked over the years, I think that is a positive step. You know, the state anticipates by sending a drug addict into rehab versus incarcerating them. Yeah. We'll save 50% over the rehabilitation. And, and, and they're actually potential there for even more savings because if they actually do manage to rehabilitate them, then they're not going to do the, the crime again. You yeah, the recidivism rate goes down. The concern I do have about that bill is some of the language that suggests that the, uh, decriminalizing some of these pieces. So if you're if you're high and you go rob a store, then it's part of the addiction and, and the robbing the store. Yeah, is, I, I disagree with yeah, that. Yeah, right. so that some of that is bothersome to me a little bit. But other than that, I agree. I think on whole, I think I think, and we we talked about this one time on this on this uh, panel. I think that um, we when we jail someone, I think we change their life forever, whether we want to admit it or not, and it's more often than not, probably not a good change, even though we say we rehabilitate them. I mean, it, it, there's a stigma on having sure. spent even a day in jail. Especially, well, and especially if you've got a felony. You know, if you have a felony, that makes it extremely and they're hard making, for you to find And they're making there. more and more crimes a felony now right. to try to deter, uh, to, to use it as a deterrent, and I'm not sure it works. Yeah, I, I agree. One mm -hmm. of the interesting things about this whole session was one of the easiest things they did was pass the budget. Yeah. Unlike yeah. Washington, uh, here you have the Republican governor and a very heavily Democratic legislature, and they work together. In Washington, we have the reverse, and nothing happens. We have to look at the abyss of shutting down the government now routinely. Well, I think it, it might be going. the captain that's steering the yeah. ship more so than the oh, crew that's on the ship. I'm sure it is because of people's... Prejudice I think it's better. I don't think he's leaving prejudice there. Well, I, 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 I think we've I, moved I beyond that. There is. I don't think we have. <laughs> but anyway, that aside, I want to talk about, you know, this guy promised tax relief. So the House passes a bill for middle income, lower tax relief. The Senate won't pass it because they want tax relief also for the most wealthy. So what right. happened in the end, thanks to... Our legislators, including the ones here in yeah. this county, nobody gets anything. So you're now saying, I call that a failure. You're, you're <laughs> saying that the democratically controlled Senate and the democratically controlled House can't work together to get a bill passed. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, this that, particular uh, circumstance. That's, that's a fair assessment. But okay. the governor also, <laughs> the governor also is part of this. He's on this, and they refused. You know, unless this provision was there, which was supported by. Serafini and all these people. I mean, Serafini's big time into trickle down economics. I mean, a couple of little bills he did were essentially that right. same kind of a thing, which you don't keep doing the same thing over and over and get the worst results. But my point is 
They want tax relief for who? Right. They can't pass it. Now, I'm, I'm talking about Democrats and Republicans here. Across but the But it's, it's both. And our people here, you know, our delegation did not help this. Okay. They were on the side of no money, no, no tax relief for the wealthy. Nobody gets anything. Yeah. So they got to live up for that. Uh, that's, you that's know, well, I, all of them do. Yeah, all okay, of them yeah, in position. So but those should be held accountable. You know, and agree with that. We had some Democrats who uh, apparently were on a board, too. A few. They well, managed to pass Enough so it didn't go through in the Senate. Exactly. Okay. But they passed it in the House. Now, one they of the, got halfway there. One of the things that I, I found interesting was the College Affordability Act, mm -hmm. okay, that um, passed, but I think the governor's going to veto it. He thinks uh, so, too. Only because it's a $52 million mandate, and he has plainly said he does not want any mandates going forward. Except the, for the ones he supports. Except yeah, for the ones well, he supports. What about support? the $37.5 million welfare check to Northrop Grumman? Yeah. They are definitely deserving You can't of give that. it this money for education, but they could give it to these. I mean, these people are multi-billion dollar rich. If can't they, give them money for education. Where's our education budget at? I'm talking about the welfare for Northrop Grumman. What let's, is your stance on that bill? Now, Tom, Tom, well, let's it's not call it welfare. Dollars. Why not? All right, let, let's be honest <laughs> what about what it, it was. It's welfare. It was a bribe. It's welfare. It was a bribe for them to stay in Maryland. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, we can, but we can't send our students to college, right? So yeah, how you know. many jobs do they have in Maryland? I mean, get that down I to brass answer. tacks. Because the question place. is, how many jobs are they right. creating in Maryland that if Maryland did not give up this money right. to Lockheed Martin and they decided to move to Virginia or they right. moved to West Virginia in order to move the jobs yep. over there, that those people either have to move or there's new employees that they find. Yeah, so all those North tax Trump dollars does not want to move all of its, you know, are lost. It does a big but they will, but, for them. But here's the but key. But do you threaten. understand how yeah, commerce like, and economic it, development works? Right. It's like the way you no. get big companies to move or to stay. Is to bribe them. Is about right. the money. Well, it's something. like how much well, are you going to pay If I can me? spend a dollar yeah. today and get two dollars tomorrow, I'll do that every day of the week and twice on Sunday. Yeah, well, it right. works even exactly. better but with that education. That point dollars. is lost sometimes on it's legislators that are trying to prove a point. Oh, a, we're spending yeah. thirty-seven point five million dollars. Yeah, we're getting seventy on the other side. What do I, you think? I doubt that you're going to get that back. Yeah. Why? They're not going to move. What makes you think they're going to move? They. they that's what makes, change. What makes you this think you're going to move? No, that's Trump change. <laughs> so, Trump change. Trump change. Yes. Trump change. All right, you I like can't that. do 52 so million. I'm going to let you have the last word on that, Tom. Thank you. So <laughs> up next, Tax Day 2016 is in the history books. But before you forget about it, until next year, we have some interesting information to share. Stay with us and find out. <laughs>